a new large language model that can write SQL for you and all you have to give is database schema. Let's get started. Defog SQL Coder or SQL Coder, SQL, SQL, however you want to call it, is a state of the art LLM to convert your natural language questions into SQL queries. Before you think that who uses SQL, if you are in the data world, a lot of companies are still on RDBMS or even if they've got any latest, let's say big data or cloud solution, still tools like Spark SQL or any transactional SQL database really uses the core SQL dialect and uses SQL as a programming language to extract data. Not just to extract data, but a lot of data engineering pipelines are also built using SQL. So SQL is quite critical and to have a model that can create SQL codes from natural language is quite an interesting aspect. The, as a matter of fact that this model is state of the art LLM, but still it has not beaten GPT-4. GPT-4 is still the king of programming, I would say. It is doing a tremendous job. But if you see open source world and also anything other than GPT-4, Defog SQL Coder has definitely beaten them. In fact, Defog SQL Coder has beaten ChatGPT or the GPT 3.5 Turbo. And you can see the difference is quite good. So what is SQL Coder? SQL Coder is a 15 billion parameter model that of course outperforms GPT 3.5 Turbo in taking a natural language, like you can ask in English, like for example, who are the most earning employees in our company? And then it would take this natural language and convert into SQL generation. Like it will give you a SQL code, SQL code. And this has been tested on their own SQL eval framework. Now, if you see this, one of the claims that they have got is a model like the original GPT-3, text DaVinci OO3 was a huge model. And the fact that they could take a star coder model, which is a, from big code, the hugging faces research wing, they could take star coder and fine tune out in SQL and then get much better result also emphasizes and promises more on fine tuning and having a better data set. Having said that, if you see the license, the code inside this repo is Apache 2.0 license, but the model weights are CC by SA 4.0 license. It's creative commons license. That means you can take the code and do whatever you want, including commercial purpose. But if you were to use the model weight, then you need to open source your model weight. Like for example, if you build a new fine tuned model, you have to release the model weight under the same license. That's the main thing. If you want to learn more about the training, so it is using 10,000 plus human curated questions and it has been trained across two epochs. And you can see for a different categories of SQL, how the model is performing. If you know SQL, there are certain aspects, certain operations that are quite popular. So you've got group by, you've got order by, you've got ratio, table join and where. Of all these things, I would honestly say table join is one of the most complex because a lot of beginners even make mistakes there. And if you see all these categories, you can see defog is SQL coder outperforming GPT 3.5 turbo, except, except of course, table join. GPT 3.5 turbo or chart GPT 3.5 is still a better model for table join, but everything else and also the overall average, you can see defog SQL coder beating GPT 3.5 turbo. Still, it is not comparable with GPT-4. Leaving that aside, this is a very easy to use model. Either you can download the model weights from here and then start using it. Or you also have got the web interface that they've given you. So you can go to the defog.ai slash SQL coder dash demo and then go input your database schema. So database schema would tell the model what kind of structure your database is. After you give that, then you can ask the question. For example, for this given database schema, you can ask a question like, do we get more revenue from customers in New York compared to customers in San Francisco? Give me the total revenue for each city and the difference by the two. And for that, it actually gives you this nice SQL code. Again, this has got CTE. It, has, it is a really good SQL. I don't know if it actually works, like I'm not running this, but this is, um, this is actually a good SQL code, a legible SQL code, and it doesn't seem like it has got a lot of mistake. So what I did is I did one more thing for the same uh, SQL database schema. I said, give me the top five successful salespeople. You can see that there is a table called salespeople and then you've got a table called sales. What this is doing is it is actually combining salespeople and sales 
and it knows what to combine on. So it knows that it has to combine on the salesperson ID. So salesperson ID is a common identifier here and it combines on the salesperson ID and gets their sales and takes the total sales and takes their, uh, you know, success rate and then sorts it and then gives you limit five, which is like the top five because in the question I've asked and it does a decent job in generating the SQL query. Now, the model is good. The benchmarks are good. If you were to run this on your own machine, then these are the requirements for the machine. First of all, you cannot run this on free collab version. They've got, they've got a Google collab notebook that you can definitely try it out. But for you to run, you need Google collab pro account. I tried it on the free version of Google collab and it definitely crashed after waiting for a long time. So you need a really powerful machine the kind of machines that you need. If you have a 100 with 40 GB GPU, you can run it with B floating 16 weights. Also, you can load the eight bit and four bit quantized version on GPUs with at least 20 gigs of memory, more like RTX 4090 or 3090. If you have got Apple M uh, Apple Silicon machines, M2 pro M2 max M2 ultra chips with more than 20 gigs of GPU memory can run this overall. This is again, like I said, this is an interesting model. I think tabular data is highly underappreciated in the world of large language models. The fact that we have got a new model that has been available as an open weight. I don't, I don't want to call it open source that has been available as an open weight. And also the fact that it beats chat GPT 3.5 is quite amazing. And I would definitely encourage you to try it out. If your job requires you to write SQL, this is like an easy way for you to try it out because for you to try it out, you don't have to share data. I think a lot of companies are quite um, scared of sharing their data online. So here, all you have to do is you have to share your database schema, enter the question, get the output, and you can take this query and then whatever SQL client that you use, you can try this on. I think overall it is an interesting model. The fact that there is a model exclusively for SQL and that is built on star coder is quite an amazing achievement that can beat GPT 3.5 turbo that has been built by a big corporate company tells us that you don't need a generalized model for everything. You can build narrow specific uh, domain specific models like DSLs and it can work pretty better than the commercially available models. I hope this was helpful to you. See you in another video.